Here we're going to talk about the second of the six technology standards for students set by International Society for Technology and Education. In today's digital world, your students must be able to recognize the rights, responsibilities, and opportunities of living, learning, and working in an interconnected digital world. And they must be able to act and model in ways that are safe, legal, and ethical. And there are four major focuses for students. First of all, your students must learn to cultivate and manage their digital identity and reputation. For example, how an individual is represented online in the public domain based on activities, connections, or tagging. For example, social media posts, photos, public online comments, reviews, how others are depicting you online. And your students must learn to be aware of the permanence of their actions in the digital world. Digital content is everlasting, even when individuals delete it or believe privacy settings fully protect them from scrutiny. Your students must also learn to engage in positive, safe, legal, and ethical behavior when using technology. By positive behavior, we mean interactions that convey a portrait of the way you want to be perceived in healthy interactions with technology itself, for example, moderating the time online or gaming, ergonomic issues, and balancing use of media with daily physical activity. By safe behavior, we mean interactions that keep you out of harm's way, for example, knowing the identity of who you are interacting with, how much and what kind of information you release online, protecting oneself from scams, mm. phishing schemes, and poor purchasing practices, and so on. And by legal behaviors, we mean interactions that are mindful of the law, for example, abiding by copyright and fair use, respecting network protections by not hacking mm -hmm. them and not using another's identity. And by ethical behavior, we mean interactions that align with one's moral code, for example, preventing or not engaging in cyberbullying, mm -hmm. trolling, or scamming, avoiding plagiarism, mm -hmm. supporting others' positive digital identity. And your students must learn to be mindful about all these in social interactions online or when using network devices, such as internet-connected computers or tablets, multiplayer gaming systems, and cell phones. And your students also must learn to demonstrate an understanding of and respect for the rights and obligations of using and sharing intellectual property. Uh, in other words, they must learn to abide by copyright and fair use, citing resources, gaining or giving permission to use content, avoiding plagiarism, understanding and using Creative Commons, and so on. And finally, your students must also learn to manage their personal data to maintain digital privacy and security. How can they manage their personal data? For example, creating effective passwords, authenticating sources before providing personal information, sharing personal data conscientiously, not posting address or phone numbers visibly, and so on. And what do we mean by digital privacy and security? Examples include activating privacy settings on social media accounts and search engines, recognizing sites that use encryption, using secure login and password information on shared devices, and being conscientious about accepting privacy policies and access requests from apps and websites. And Finally, your students must learn to be aware of data collection technology used to track their navigation online. There are entities that track an individual's personal data when using network devices. For example, there are website cookies. Search algorithms return results based on past searches. And there are website analytics, GPS on cell phones, the Internet of the Things, where data is exchanged between network devices and objects, and more. And being aware of these specific technologies that surround us in a digital age is very important for students to protect themselves and to project positive images to the world. And as a teacher, we also must be aware of all of these rights, responsibilities, opportunities, and threats that exist in today's digital world and let our students know about them one way or another. So the question is, how much are you aware of them and how are you going to teach that to your students?